Hey y'all, what's going on? So yeah, I'm not on the camera for this uh, True Blood review. I really don't even feel like getting on camera talking about this bullshit. So y'all forgive me for, um, you know, not being on camera. I know y'all don't really like the, just the just the voice or whatever, but this is what we're doing today. Um, I don't even have to tell y'all that I'm just damn pissed with the last two weeks of True Blood. Y'all know I was pissed last week, and I was really pissed this week. And I'm only going to talk about the shit yet again that was pertinent, but, oh, oh Lord, y'all. None of this shit was pertinent this week. I'm going to just be real with y'all. Best thing you found out the the lady was exercised and sent on with a baby and all of that. Okay. Oh, let's see. Where to start? Let's start with, um, oh, Lord, Norny and let's start with Norny and Tara and all the shit that's going on with that. Okay. No, let's don't start there. Let's just start with Sookie waking her ass up after being shot. After, you know, Al C was running with a Joe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> um, he was running with her. And then Bill snatched her up real quick. And he got the little wolf eyes and got upset and all of that. But Bill was able to run her in there quicker, you know, quicker. So that he could give her blood or whatever. This bitch ought to be a motherfucking vampire by now. Because her ass. That has so much vampire blood. This bitch ought to be the queen of vampires. So she wakes up and she's like, she's looking, you know, they're like, are you okay? This and that and other. And you know, I was ready to scratch her motherfucking eyes out when I seen how Al C, aka Joe, was looking like, you know, you almost died. This and that and other. And the fact that he was getting upset that she was ready to go out and she wanted to keep dealing with the whole vampire situation. He said, I'm done. He wiped his hands with all of that. And of course, I was waiting somewhere in the rough with open arms, of course. So then Bill's there and she's like, where's Eric? And, and he's like, now that you better, I can go out and start looking for him and she was like you know every minute he's out there da, 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 she's worried about Eric you know she thanks Bill Bill's like okay and you know it's killing him y'all um, but I do know that Sookie still has feelings for Bill I don't care what's going on now Sookie does still have feelings for Bill okay so now that they're looking for Eric we may as well go on to Eric and then go to the whole scene with them you know the witches and shit and Norna and her motherfucking fuckery. And she done got Eric. Y'all, I'm pissed about that. Now, now, Eric, you done been every damn thing. A damsel. You done killed the fairy. You done did all kinds of shit. I'm going to need your ass to snap out of it, baby. Just snap out of it. Okay. So, Norna comes in with Eric with her. And they like, what you doing with him? And she's like, oh, he's under my you know, spell, and he, she calls him Blondie. Bitch, you ain't been around long enough to be calling him Blondie. Wait until his motherfucking ass come to, and you're going to be looking silly. Anyway, so she tells him to go wipe his face off. He goes in there, he aims to please or whatever. Meanwhile, Tara and the rest of them is like, wait a minute, we didn't, you know, we ain't signed on for this. They gave you an olive branch, you know, why didn't you take it and you know, it's really not Norny, but you know who's taking over Norny's, you know, body or whatever. <laughs> so she's like, no, she ain't going to be happy until they all dead and, you know, the whole bit. And she's going to go forward with it. So she's like, let's form a circle like they need protection because you sure do need protection out the way you would enact it. Anyway, so. They don't get in it, but it's a few of them that do want to. This guy, he's like, yeah, I like the way you had the vampire following you, da 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 You know, he's just scared as hell, and he's just glad somebody going to get the bad vampire off his ass. Okay, so Tyra's like, nope, 
we ain't doing it. And then the other waitress says, I got kids. You know, da 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 da. And um so they don't get in the circle, you know, to really get it going or whatever. So they don't get in it. Now, let's go off of that for a minute. And now let's go to I wanna go to Lafayette. Yeah, let's go to Lafayette's fuckery. Not really fuckery, but he had no other choice. We know by now that Lafayette was um the uh chick. The ghost took over his body. She got in him, she didn't want to stole the baby and shit like that right under their noses. They find out. And this stupid ass is looking for V and shit because you know his ass can't function without some damn V and I'm going to need him to sit his big cheese ass down because I'm tired of him. Okay, so they look in. The mama of the baby, she's like, you know, frantic and the dad. And y'all, let me just a side note. Am I the only one that thinks he's something? Like, I feel like he's something supernatural. I don't know why, but I do. You know, I don't. The dude that does the cooking, I just think he's supernatural. Anywho. So, Jason is over there, and what's his name? The fool, Anthony. Uh, Anthony. Lord, who in the hell is Anthony? That's just how much, how aggravated I was with this shit. Um, Andy's ass is like, okay, I need a fix, you know. Now, let me backtrack a little bit because she, you know, after she gets the baby, she goes to uh, Jessica's boyfriend's house, which is where they used to live at or whatever. He's in there drunk and just trying to get over Jessica and her shit. And apparently that is the house that she used to live in, I'm assuming, when she was alive. She had no idea she was dead and the whole bit. So she's in there, she goes in the house, whatever, and she starts shooting that old dude and he runs out the house and then he immediately calls Andy and this is, you know, where Andy and Jason and all of them were there. Okay, so now they ride over there because it's like, what the hell Lafayette doing with this baby? And Andy then had his fix of V, so he's seeing all kind of Burrilla Kitchen Cat liver quibbles and everything else you know just stars and stripes and shit and you know lions tigers and birds and so he's ready to go in there supposed to be bringing i think it's hoyt yeah hoyt supposed to be bringing him some pants he done left the pants and shit so he goes to the door like the girl through lafayette and y'all know lafayette was playing the shit out of that party it was hilarious was like, who is that? I don't want no, you know, this and that and other. And Andy gets all his strength from the V and shit. And he busts through the door. She's like, you're not going to get my baby. And just like that baby, that's how she was saying it, y'all. Anywho, so she shoots at him. Jason's got, you know, the gun on her. But, of course, he don't want to shoot because the baby's there. They end up jumping out the window. Okay, we're sitting out there and we're waiting. Here comes the couple, the mama and the daddy. So the daddy goes to go up and Andy goes ham on his ass, which you know that he's, you know, also uh, their family, you know. So he's like, Andy, you just jealous because I got a family, da, da, da. Andy's looking a fool. He won't let this man up. He got this BS blood strength. Okay, so... We go off of that scene, and then you see they're around, you know what I'm saying, the uh, truck and all of that, and here comes his sis. Yes, his sis. Anyway, y'all, y'all know I got to say it like that. So, his sis, his sis, gets out, and he's like, I'm going to go in there. He goes in there and starts talking to the ghost, the ghost, you know, in Lafayette's body, the ghost is like, what you mean, your boyfriend? Because she's looking like, oh, honey, what in the world? What century am I in? What is going on? You know, so he's explaining that she's realized that she drops the gun. He says he's a wuku, wukulukabu, hukadu, whatever he is, wukabu. I don't know. And um, so he begins to make her remember. She realizes what happened. She starts explaining it. 
Then she stops. And he's like, the only way I'm going to help you is if you go on with it. She goes on with it. Come to find out the baby and her is buried out by the tree and shit. They have to dig it up. And there was this whole scene where the ghost went away. And his sis. And Lafayette has this endured moment. Okay, so I like his sis for a minute, for a second, y'all. Then I went back to, ugh, I can't stand this motherfucker. Okay, off of that scene. Okay. Now, um, the next thing that I want to bring up, uh, can I just bring up the fact right now that True Blood is borderline porn? What are you doing, Bougie? It's borderline porn. Because now Sookie done had both of their blood and she's daydreaming about having both of them in her red lingerie, you know, and shit. And here comes Eric at the door. And yet again, you know, I was like, oh, Lord, here comes another sex scene. Because by now I'm just over it, honey, because they done fucked from the, the top of the ceiling to the to the basement. They didn't did it from the windows to the walls, you know, skeet, skeet, skeet. Y'all know the whole bit. Anyway, y'all know the sign. Anywho, so Eric comes in in her dream or whatever and kisses. Before you know it, bam, here's Bill. And she's in between them. They are and things out. Just get ready to cut up. So she says, you know, no, it's not going to be that way. Come and follow me into the living room. She explains to them that, look, I want both of y'all. Why can't I have both of y'all? So there's a scene where they kissing and they trading, you know, in between her and then they both bite her neck and she wakes up. Okay, now off of that scene and and I hope that y'all understand just how over I am. Sookie and her whole secretary. She's just sexing everywhere, everybody. She done slept with everybody but Lafayette and you know she been, she want to bump pocketbooks with him too. Anywho, so, okay, now that brings me to this. Now, let me just give a brief moment to Tommy and his, you know, Tom Foolery. So he's at the bar. He's trying to write Sam. You know, he didn't got the money from the lady. Y'all think they're going to get rid of Tommy or something. I don't know. Maybe this will be his last season. I don't know. So, um, once, uh, you know, he's in there, he's writing this, he wants to say back, because I think he's really apologetic to his brother. He's just fucked up, funky draws man, and crazy mama just to screw him up. And so here comes the new, you know, the new wolf leader or whatever. He's a hot dog with ass mess. I do not like him. I do not like him. Now, he's looking for Sam because y'all know what happened. He went over there and the little girl and Sam was there and he's just pissed. So Tommy's like, why are you looking for, you know, basically, why are you looking for my brother? And he's like, tell him to come here. Da, da, da. Now let's bounce over to the scene since we're talking about that with the uh, little girl and the mama. And, you know, how the baby family went to sleep. Sam's like, I'm not leaving. You know, how about we, you know, go to have a camping trip and she wakes up and we there. Sally, the horse thriller girl, she says, okay, yeah, let's do that. So they do do that. Meanwhile, back at the Wolf Ranch, Odoo's waiting on him, but he's waiting there with Al C. You know, they having a, a bear and this and that and other. And he's like, I want to move up in the pack, da, da, da. I don't know, y'all. I feel like um, Al C is trying to play it. You know, trying to see what's going on. I just don't feel like this is what he really wants to be doing. You know, with this guy. But somehow they talking, da da da. And he asked him to be there when uh Sam gets there. Basically, like you know, just get my back and you big or whatever. Using, cause he ain't no damn good. I don't like. Him. Anyway, so as he's like, okay, he'll be there. Which y'all know, I was a little upset about that because I had made us some. Some meals and things. I had him a little wolf meal set to the side and, you know, the whole thing. But, you know, he'll be home. Anyway. So, after that, 
Then we're going to go back to Sam because Sam, not Sam. Yeah, we're going to go back to Sam and the horse and the little girl, the rabbit and all of that. And they all in the forest, this and that and other. He turns into a rabbit for the little girl and the little girl. She's cute, y'all. And the mama and the whole bit. So he didn't want the mama over. So finally, he's really getting ready to get him a piece of horse, tail, cat, rat. I used to be my mama because I killed a piece of cake. And um, <clears throat> so then the next scene is the horse, will of rat woman and him is throwing y'all. They didn't want to the jungle. I mean, they went all the way to the jungle. Okay, so after being at the jungle, while they was there, we go off of that scene. Okay, now let's go to, let's see, what's the next shit? Because y'all was just really bored with it. I'm trying to drag it out just to her, and y'all might be like, okay, much love. Just don't even drag it out, fuck it. Um, so, then what do I want to go to? Let me see. Oh, let me go to Assy's supposed wife or whatever. Y'all know I don't like her. I forget her name, but the bitch is up to something. But we do know that she does do V. And because uh, she's in the alley talking about, have you ever drank it out of the neck and fresh blood? And just, yeah, she's an ivory bitch. Anyway, so is that her name, baby? Okay. So, Debbie, she has her little V or whatever. Then she goes to see Sookie. Now, am I the only one that thought that she was going to have a gun behind her back along with Sookie? Because Sookie was flashbacking and shit. And she whips out flowers. Now, I don't know what she's up to. But she's, like, telling Sookie she wants to be there, help, da-da-da. And Sookie read her mind, and she was like, basically, she wanted to help. But I think she didn't train her shit. Okay, so this takes us back to Norny, where the bitch who's inhabiting Nor Norny's body. Yes, she do. Yes, she do, because she said, you know, that's a gift, being able to read people's mind. Yes, she do. She knows it. And so, after that, what color is it? White? She said it was a gift being what's up to me. Oh, and she also said reading people's mind. Any, she did. And so, after that, they go to the little place where Norn and them, you know, at or whatever. She goes in, pretends like she wants to help them as a wolf, you know, because they don't like the vampires. So, Sookie can ease in the window and get to Eric. But Eric's in a fucking trance. You know, yes, he's stupid right now, and I need him to snap out of it. Um, uh, Norny's ghost body flesh bag. She's like, Why you want to have from what I know of wolf? They don't like to be known. She realizes something is going on. Kaboom, she says, Sookie's trying to do something, and the whole scene goes down. And, uh, I'm thinking, yeah. They both got out. Sookie and her got out. She wants to pull off and leave Sookie. And next thing you know, she hears Sookie. So if that don't let y'all know that this bitch is up to no motherfucking good, I don't know what will. Because she really didn't want to help Sookie. Not to mention the bitch was driving slow to the place. Just fucked up. Okay. So basically the plan with the witches is to kill Bill and the whole bit. So... She needs Eric and what she do that because Eric's stronger and she's got these hoping he will get to the other vampires and this and that and other. Okay, now on to the next thing. Let's go to Jessica for a minute because y'all know we're gonna have to talk about it because you know her and Jason finally just did the dirty low down do. They was dirty and low down in the back of that truck when I tell you. Okay, so Jessica's crying. She's crying to old girl, the one that go, you know, what is her name? What's that uh vampire's name, the one to be on the news? Whatever. Nan Flanagan. And Nan Flanagan's looking at her, eyes bleeding and shit, and she's like, I wish I was dead. I am dead, but they don't make a difference. They, they, they both banished me, blah, blah, blah. And Nan hits her with some real rock dog shit. 
She says, I thought about being a maker, but after listening to you, I know I don't ever want to do it. You know, because Jessica's just being a just complete, oh, she's just a mess. But she does finally get her a bit of Jason, a nice little bit of Jason, because they was going bananas in the back of that damn uh, truck. Now, let's move on to the climax of the fucking show. Bill's in there. Sookie's trying to run and save Bill. He knows. She knows what they plan on doing. Lord, Eric goes in there and starts ripping hearts and shit out. And he goes crazy and, you know, the whole bit. And they trying to get to Bill. I don't know, you know, if they really going to. Well, y'all know Bill ain't going to be killed. That's the bottom line. He's too big a character, man. Come on. And, and ain't nothing going to happen to Eric. I just don't know how this shit's going to play out. So Sookie hollers for Bill. Bill hears her. Eric's on the other side. Uh, Flanagan is there looking like, oh, Lord, this fairy bitch. You know, so I don't know how this shit's going to play out. Y'all probably left some shit out. And I feel like I've been talking for motherfucking ever about nothing. This shit is boring as hell. The last two episodes have made me mad. I'm over it. It was all over the damn place. It was just not, I don't know. It just was not what I'm used to. And there's only three more episodes left. So I don't know how they're going to pull this shit together. But I know they better get it together. And they better get my Eric together before I have to cut some back. I don't know if I left anything out. I know y'all can do a video response or whatever. I know this is not my average review. It is what it is. And this is just how I feel about it. I started to come on here and just be like, hell, no, nah, I hated it. It was a mess and it ain't even worth talking about. But, you know, it is what it is. I think I I probably did leave some shit out, but, ugh, whatever. So y'all tell me what y'all think. If y'all with me on this shit, on the last two, they was a mess. I didn't like them. So I'm out of here, y'all. Just... You know, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Um, and everything. So I'm out. Bye.